What's up? This is Matt Mike, and uh, this is what I ride. This is my uh, GT Globe Trotter. It's the Brian Kaczynski signature model. It's an awesome frame, it's really strong, 20.75. The back end's not super short, which I like that. A lot of frames are like real short. I don't even know what the back end is, but it's nice, I like it. Handlebars, I'm running the Animal Empire bars, nine inches. I'm just not into big bars, but I do like that they come with a lifetime guarantee. GT grips are great. I really enjoy them. They're soft, they last a while, and great for your hands. I love them. My invisible bar ends, I hate bar ends. I don't know, some people are like, why don't you have bar ends? Cause I just, I don't care for them. The Animal Highline stem, it's fucking awesome. I love it. It's probably one of the best top load stems I've ever had. It never slipped. I've never broken one and I've been riding it since it, just before it came out. I've never had a problem with this stem. It's great, nothing ever moved on them. Next I have the GT headset. It's actually a prototype headset that I just started running a few months ago, but it's great, it's spinning real nice. I can crank it real tight, which I don't like loose shit, so it's it's beautiful, it's perfect. We have the Animal Street Fork and a super strong investment cat dropouts, and I run the 15 millimeter ones. They're super steep, which I like the aggressiveness of them. Next I have on the front, Animal Team Peg. Tires, I have the GT pool tires. They got a match for the Animal ones, they're great, I love them. You can run them at any PSI, basically, hard or soft, and they just are great, and never really get flats on them. Javelin cassette hubs great axles they hold up they're great same thing with the rims animal rims so we go to the drivetrain I got the animal rat traps great plastic pedals they are wide they come with extra pins on them I have a prototype set of the GT 24 millimeter spindle cranks they're super solid they're no flex I used to run 175s and uh, Ben Ward actually convinced me to run 165s and they're, they're great I love the way they feel like the short stance and everything so uh, Thanks, Ben. Sprocket, I'm running a prototype animal sprocket, bash guard. Can't wait to get out there and beat it. You know, they're, they're made to smash on, so that's why they're called bash guards. So all you kids out there with bash guards that aren't using them, start using them. The animal cush seat, pivotal. I think it's real comfortable. I like it, it holds up real good. Seat post, same thing, matching. Got the animal, pivotal seat post. So I have a stem cap. I actually is like my favorite piece on there because it's a bullet casing from when my dad was in the Gulf War, which is pretty cool. I got a bunch of them from him before he passed away and I have his, the date that he died on it and everything and like always have respect for that and like the troops and everybody over there and what they do. So I have a piece of my dad with me when I'm riding. So. That's actually the most like important part of my bike. I wanna say a shout out to GT Bikes, Animal Bikes, of course, uh, Ride BMX for doing this. Uh, shout out to Ben Ward and Brian Kaczynski and all my teammates, Ralph Sinisi. Wanna check out more? Go to ridebmx.com and uh, see what they got.